Okay, so uh, this uh, molecule pictured up here is uh, known as Biox. It has since been discontinued from the market, but it was an NSAID that was popular a few years ago. Um, but because of continuing health concerns, they've discontinued it. But um, for our purposes, we're just wondering some things about this structure, okay? so. Um, can anybody help me out trying to figure out what type of functional groups there are in this molecule biox? Yeah, there's two carry. Yeah, or uh, aryl groups or benzene rings, right? Okay, so let's circle those. Is everybody okay with identifying those ones? So aromatic groups. Is that ester? An ester, yes. Very good. So we see this cyclic ester here, right? You see that there's a um, cycle there, right? So a compound that's in a ring, right? Or a piece of the compound that's in a ring. So the ester is going to be there. In fact, this is an alpha, beta, unsaturated ester when we learn more about um, different types of esters, we'll talk about alpha, beta, unsaturated ones. But can anybody find another group in there? Um, so this thing up here, this is called a sulfonyl. Okay, it's not one that you guys need to know for organic one, but we can put that up there. So the sulfonyl group. A what? An alkene, yeah, definitely. So an alpha, beta, unsaturated ester has an alkene next to it. That's what it means, alpha, beta, unsaturated. So let's just write out which ones we're saying. So this is the ester. Um, so for right now, you can write um, benzene rings or aromatic portions of the group or the molecule. And then the alkene, of course. And if you wanted to remember the sulfonyl group. Um, let's see. I guess we could uh, do some other things with this problem. Um, Let's see. Actually, we'll do a different one, okay? Let's kill this video and then we'll do a different molecule and identify like primary hydrogens.